What have you found? Sweeties. Sweeties? Yeah. Cheeky. No, you've got your special breadsticks that taste rough. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I am here with Saxon. He's got no pants on. Be right back. If you haven't been here before, you are so welcome. Thank you for coming over. Oh, if you haven't already subscribed, then please do by pushing the button down below. I have got for you guys today a September favourite. And I have always blabbed on about how I'm not going to do favourites videos. But this month just felt different because I've got loads of things that I actually am really loving. And um, most of them are food, to be honest, or stuff on TV. So let's get going. I thought I'd actually do a bit of a mum and baby September favourites because we've got quite a few things that um, the kids are really loving at the moment. It's just going through a phase of saying, um, so if you, if you hear me say, um, and then Ezra say, oh, he doesn't do it on demand. <laughs> um, <laughs> um, oh, I did it again! <laughs> So I'll start with the children things first. Um, the first thing that I've got to show you is a pack of Super Yummies Tomato and Herb breadsticks. They do two varieties of these. They do a tomato and herb and they do a spinach and... I don't know, maybe it's just a spinach one. Um, and my kids love these, especially Ezra. They've got no salt in them at all or sugar. Um, nothing added. I mean, there's a tiny bit of salt that's naturally in it, but they've got no added salt. And they're suitable from 12 months up. Um, and they're oat breadsticks with dried tomato and basil. And they're just really good. The boys really like them. They're really tasty. I prefer these ones. The spinach ones just taste a bit rough, like you're eating cardboard. To be honest, when nothing's got salt in, it does taste like you're eating cardboard. But Ezra doesn't really know much of a difference. And he really likes these, so that is good news. Second child thing is this um, cup. Now, this cup looks a bit crazy. I, when I first saw it, I was like, what? How do you wash it? What do you do? Because um, we always have those Tommy to pee sippy cups. Should I get you one? But we just found that Ezra especially, Saxon didn't ever do this, but Ezra would just tip it all out and it was so frustrating because I'd end up with milk in the carpet and in the sofa and all over the floor and have to clean it up. So we, um, John's mum bought us one of these and we really like them because they have like a silicon top and um, there's like a, this has actually got juice in it right now, there's like a sieve kind of thing, like a colander in the middle and it teaches them to sip up and suck at the same time. So um, it's really, really good like tool for teaching your child to use a cup. Um, but also you can fit loads more in than Tommy Tippy. So if you're going out for the day, you can fill it up mm. and you're a good un. Jobs are good un. So um, yeah, these are by Munchkin and we really like these. They're really easy for them to use. They're also, the important things, I got really excited about that. They're also really easy to clean. You can get to all the little parts, which is just so good. There are no like fiddly bits like there are in the Tommy Tippies that you have to crack open and break to clean them. So um, these are brilliant and we've got several hanging about the house. <laughs> and then the other thing that is a favorite of the kids um, is of Saxon's and it is this wipe clean workbook. Saxon's just about to turn three. Um, which I know is really early to be doing things like this, but every child's different and Saxon's just ready to sit down and do some like writing-y stuff. He just loves it. He loves being focused. He always has at the age of, before he was 18 months, he was able to do puzzles and jigsaws and he's just got that kind of focused mind. So we got him, uh, we, were gift, we were given him one of these. Um, he was given one of these and then we've bought a couple more since and we actually picked this up at Sainsbury's and I think they're about 2 99 or something but they're by White Clean and it comes with a little pen inside and you this one is really good because it teaches them all about first words and um, you can go through it with them but it also teaches them about pen control which <laughs> as you can see nailed it <laughs> He's doing really well with that, um, but it's got 
um, different parts of the body and face and different animals to go through and it's got um, smaller dotted letters so that he can copy um, and it's just getting them used to the picture and the, what the word looks like and he just literally will do this for half an hour straight, sit down and do his drawings, he calls it, do me drawings! <laughs> I don't know why he sounds like he's from Oliver Twist, he actually doesn't. Okay, and then moving on to my favourites, I wanted to talk about the Great British Bake Off, I've been loving it this season, and we literally have watched every episode, I need to catch up on last night, um, but we're really enjoying it, so good, uh, as always, and we're hooked. The next thing I've been loving is a real seasonal favourite and that is the pumpkin spiced latte. It is back. It's back for the autumn and I am loving it and it's just so delicious. Even it's also really good with soya milk which I'm surprised at because often soya milk can be a bit meh. Um, so I'm really enjoying those soya milk which is so good and um, I actually had one today earlier, a little cheeky Starbucks. <laughs> Another thing that has been really helpful for me this month, I, a few months ago, broke out in acne. I don't know what is going on. I don't know if it was to do with changes in my diet or just hormonal. Ez was looking at me like I'm such a weirdo. Um, but I am loving this Yes Two Tomatoes Clear Skin Acne, acne Clearing Facial Toner. And it's 98% natural product, paraben free. And um, I can't remember where I got this from. I think it's just from Boots or something. It was quite pricey, like compared to just normal drugstore um. stuff. <laughs> you say? Um, is it? Oh, he just got on me shy. This has actually saved my life. Um, I don't. Loads of spots have appeared under the skin on my cheeks and it's done exactly what it says, acne clearing, way! I don't know why I would suddenly get acne in my 20s other than changing my diet. I, li I, I have no idea. It could be to do with having like my body back, having my hormones balanced a bit. Who knows? Now, the next thing is something that I'm properly excited about because those of you who don't know, I became a vegetarian. <laughs> I was just excited. I became vegetarian um, a few months ago and these are vegetarian Haribo. They've got this logo here which is how you know that they are vegetarian. You can hold them. Sweeties. It's so bad. You shouldn't even know what sweeties are. Second child just gets away with everything. Before I was veggie I was obsessed with sweets with like wine gums and fruit pastels and stuff so it's really nice to be able to have an alternative that hasn't got pig or cow's bones in them. Whoop! 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 I think this is the last thing, oh no, second to last thing, um, still on the lines of food. I've been loving this book, it's called The Happy Pair. I don't think it's like that old, um, but it's really good, it's um, mostly vegetarian. I think it's all vegetarian um, recipes. It's not completely vegan, although there are loads of vegan recipes in there because they do use some eggs and some goat's cheese. But I think in general they're pretty against dairy and um, all things healthy. Um, so we've been really loving it. Um, and I wouldn't say it's like... They're not necessarily child-friendly ideas, but my kids quite like them, so... That's always good. Um, and yeah, so that's called The Happy Pair by David and Stephen Flynn. Um, so if you haven't seen that and you want some like clean eating healthy recipes, then go check that out. Last but not least is a fashion item. I feel a bit like uh -huh. I'm not allowed to say that because I am not in any means like a fashion follower. But um, it's a really, really silky bomber jacket which I know we're kind of past the bomber jacket thing, but um, I don't care. <laughs> I really like this, um, and it's a super slouchy and super silky bomber jacket, and it's actually reversible. I'll put in a little cutaway that I did. Um, I actually did a cutaway for this a while back, but it will do the trick. But um, um. Um, 
Oh, thank you, Ezra, for pointing out that I said, um, um, um again. Um, but, yeah, it's got, um, um <laughs> it's completely reversible, and I just really like it. I love the, like, slouchiness of it. Some bomber jackets can look a bit, like, puffy and chavvy, and it's also got kind of a silverish gold zip. Not quite silver, not quite gold, which I really like, because it goes with everything. And, um... Okay. Um, mm. you knew I was gonna say, um, so cheeky! Um, uh, uh, mm, uh. um I've been loving that, and that is from um. Zara. Um, and um. I'll try and find a link to that or something similar to put down below. Um, yes! <laughs> <laughs> you are so cute, baby! <laughs> if you haven't watched our videos before, this is Ezra. He um. is. And he is the happiest, cutest baby you've ever seen. He's got some bumps on his head at the moment because he fell down the stairs at the weekend. Oh my gosh, drama, talk about mum guilt and dad guilt. We both felt really awful. But um, we're past it now, we're through it, it's all healing nicely. <laughs> uh, yeah, so thank you so much for watching my September favourites. Um, it, has, it feels like it's been a bit all over the place with skincare yeah. and fashion and food, mostly food and talking about Bake Off and pumpkin spice, but um, that is what autumn's all about, hey, and please let me know what your favourite things have been recently and what you've been loving, and I will see you soon, guys. Mwah. Bye! Ow! Come up! <laughs> <laughs> Look at the camera. Give the camera. <laughs> Thank you. Because um. <laughs> mummy says um so much. Um. 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 Who's that?